Dear YouTube, I want to write a licensed novel for DC Comics. Please make this happen. What? It worked for Chuck Wendig. Readers, unlike the relentless yet deserving amount of shade I threw David Goyer's way during DCEU month, I want to spend this Readers for Lives praising a writer that deserves it instead. I'm talking about Chuck Wendig. Now everyone is introduced to authors in their own unique way. Some stumble upon their books in bookstores and libraries. Others are introduced to them through friends and family members. Being told that if they didn't read a certain book in particular, that they would be dead to them forever. But I found out about Chuck the same way that everything that usually needs a social justice war fought for it. I found out through Twitter. It was one of those moments where Twitter decided it wanted to pretend to be Exhibit and play Pimp My Following List with me. I say that to mean that it went, Yo dog, I heard you like James Patterson and Sam Sykes. So here's some other authors that use our platform that you never heard of, cause you trippin'. Now this is the part where I display how horrible of a person I am. Because before I actually started following him on Twitter, I heard his name before. It was back when Lucasfilm decided to completely start the Star Wars Expanded Universe from scratch, and announced that Aftermath would be the first novel to bridge the gap between Episode 6 and 7. But because the author was one that I've never heard of before, I just brushed the book to the side. So when I pieced it together that this was the same Chuck Wendig that actually wrote Aftermath, I was like, Oh. Oh, it's you. Well, obviously I made the right choice. So as time went on, I saw that his interaction with both his author colleagues and his fans of his work on Twitter was, like, just the best. And the more I heard about Aftermath, the more I wanted to read it. So when I did, I enjoyed it. Surprisingly. And I only say that because I have never read a story formatted like that in my entire life. But it was that uniqueness that the story brought and how well it matched the storytelling that actually made me enjoy the book. And thus initially making me a fan of Chuck Wendig. You know, that and the fact that he's actually replied to a few of my tweets before. Which doesn't really happen to me all that often, so I really treasure it. So all in all, Chuck is a great guy. He's funny, he's a good and unique storyteller. And I hope one day we become author buddies. Because out of the handful of authors that I want to be close to, I would love him to give me a review for the novel I'm releasing this December. Oh, right, I didn't tell you all that yet. I'm releasing a novel in December. So readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below how you were introduced to one of your favorite authors. Because if any of them are how I found out about Chuck, then I'm all ears. Anyways, this is Readers 101. Class dismissed.